Hello all. Hope you're having a good day. I've got to kind of hurry up because it's getting dark outside. I got some chores to do. Laundry and feeding the birds and washing the dishes and you know the things that uh, you usually have to do when you're the only one at the house. <laughs> so let's get on with it. Here is the DB25M connector, M for male, on that new servo drive. And uh, we have 12 and 24 is cosine plus and ref cosine, reference cosine. On 13 and 25 we have sine plus and reference sign. Now down here we have a communications IC. This is a 75176B a transceiver and uh, pin 1 of the DB25M connector goes to pin 7 of the transceiver IC and 14 of the DB25M goes to pin 6 of the transceiver IC. Now what that tells us is is out here attached to that motor we have intelligent communications that is an intelligent feedback inside that motor because it uh, receives communications from the drive and the servo motor communicates back into the drive now I did not connect a resolver to this input right here and the reason being is because there's no excitation output into a resolver from this servo drive so why do we have sine and cosine with no excitation to energize that resolver the rotating transformer in that resolver needs excitation and uh, I did not have that coming from this drive. So what I did was I took my uh, Hall Effect encoder simulator board that I made and I put square waves A, A bar, B, B bar into these two inputs right here. So down here we had A, A bar, up here we had B, B bar from my encoder simulator. And that was applied to these two operational amplifiers. So we had square wave in and square wave out. Square wave in and square wave out. They went to a sample and hold IC SHC532 KU. The output of the sample and hold IC went to the input of this VECAN01 IC. That's a 10 channel 12 bit data acquisition system IC. And what we were looking at in the uh, video that we just watched was this point right here 8 to 12 and this point right here 8 to 58 now with the let me set my paper down here with the long ground wire from that oscilloscope to the ground of this system we had noise we had horrible noise y'all saw that and we when I shortened that ground wire from this IC to this system that cleaned up the noise the noise was no longer there so the point is, don't get fooled. You'll be looking at uh, a circuit and you'll see 
trash and noise and jitter uh, from this system right here. If you use a long ground wire from the circuit you're looking at to your oscilloscope. Now, if you see that and if you're worried about it, try to shorten your oscilloscope probe ground from this circuit back to your oscilloscope and I and that will clean up the noise hopefully now you might have real noise it's possible but don't get fooled between having a long ground and tripped into seeing noise and think you actually have a problem when you do not now years ago I was looking at a circuit and I could not figure out why my power supply was so noisy and I looked at that and I looked at that and I looked at that and then it dawned on me you know what let's see what it looks like with the short oscilloscope probe ground and that cleaned up the noise it cleaned up the jitter it cleaned up the trash and I said doggone I was about to go into my power supply to try and figure out why I had a problem when I didn't have a problem I created the problem from looking at the circuit with a long ground probe attached to ground of the circuit and attached the ground in my oscilloscope. The noise was being injected into the oscilloscope just like an antenna with the long ground probe. All right, folks. Oh, hey, one more thing. We're not done yet. Sorry about that. Here, oh, drop that one on the floor. Can you all see this one? there is a power output to the encoder a voltage output to the encoder and uh, here's the power board inside the drive and it runs up through here and it creates a voltage on the encoder so that we can power up the encoder so on the uh, DB25 M connector 8 and 9 are positive I had a, almost 12 volts out there on 8 and 9 reference to this ground right here on 20 and 21 now give me a minute and we'll grab the screenshot of the cable from the uh, DB25 M connector out to the encoder, the wiring harness for that cable that goes from here to the motor feedback. All right, I gotta go find that. Hold on. There you go, folks. There you go. Let's have a good rest of our day. We'll see you next time.